Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. The teams then, Bayern Munich against Porto. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beglin. Hi everyone and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Um, Pepe may well need to be at his best. There's a power about his game, thanks to very decent pace for a big man, and he doesn't lose out much in the air either. He could prove to be a very reliable presence here. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. Ivan Marcano. It's a long forward pass. Looks like a good ball through. Timely intervention. Muller did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Now it's Lewandowski. Alaba. Looks to slip it through. Alaba. And that's been repelled. Muller. It can only get better, this. We haven't seen a shot yet, and I'm hoping that when we do, it'll spark a whole series of them, because it needs livening up. And the through ball is intercepted. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have... Had a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Plays it out to the flank. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Now the pass. And the keeper's in command. Muller. Lewandowski with the ball through. Gnabry looking to get on the end of this. Firmly met. And he score! Oh my word, my word, that is fantastic! He's got himself a pinch of a goal! And Bayern Munich take the lead! That has brought the house down, what a wonderful hit! That is just the top drawer finish, he was always in control and couldn't have placed it any better. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. Now it's Lewandowski, and it's Canabri. Certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Gnabry passes it through. Going for goal! Oh, taken with style! And already they're looking to run away with it. Jim, your thoughts? Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Bayern Munich get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Gnabry. Oh, that's nicely done. Forward it goes. It's half time here. So your views on the first half? Well, I think it was a bang bang 45 minutes. That quick fire double has, has left their opponents 
a little muddled and they can't allow this 15 minute break now to cause a switching off. Bayern Munich in control at half time, 2 0. Pepe pumps it forwards. Felipe Anderson. Wonderful quick feet. Can he put it away? Their attempt, just the wrong outcome. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Well, you can sense they're really going for it now. This is gung-ho, and only a goal will do for them. It's a brilliant interception. Gnabry, set up one goal so far. Gnabry gets it back. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Got a shot away. Who's loose? Who's getting there? Porto, and a sub ready to come on. And it's Muller. Defence has got rid of that. Out wide to the right. Gnabry. Lewandowski. A chance! Danger averted for now. Played out to the right. He's made sure that that won't get through. Thrust towards the front line. Tries a through ball. Spoon forward. Bayern Munich get it back again. Now it's Lewandowski. Now it's Muller. The shot's on! Decent enough try. Well, when it becomes that speculative, I think it requires something from the very top drawer, and he had to think a little bit more about that. In the end, he's just opted for raw power. <laughs> Bayern Munich haven't made a substitution yet. Decent ball. Well, he rushed into that and didn't give anyone a chance to get on the end of it. It's a loose ball. And he's on his way. It's come loose. Whistle's gone, that's a uh, foul. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Oh, that's fabulous. Oh, that is a gem. Unbelievable. Back to within one. Interesting. And he's produced a beauty. This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. Great challenge. Uh, they're guilty of lacking inventiveness here. It's all broken down. Muller, now it's Lewandowski, Muller, and the defence can get it clear, looks to slip it through, decent looking ball, defenders on the back foot, shoots, oh great save, real class, oh, he made that look really easy Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save, he had to be very switched on there. Bayern Munich just have to run down the clock. Gnabry. Looks like a good ball through. And out to safety. Good challenge, he just stood firm. 
Muller with the ball through. Can he find a finish now? And that's caused a worry or two. Oh, he couldn't have hit that any better. And any other time it would have sneaked in. And that will be the final act. Bayern Munich come out on top. Hard fought, impossible to predict. In the end, though, only the result mattered. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Look, they've got to be happy with what they've produced here because they showed plenty of industry, and I think they've ended up getting what they deserve. Well, thanks for your company, Jim, and a very good day to you.